Welcome to today's demo on integrating our Google Cloud VMware Engine offering with ARIA Operations and ARIA Operations for Logs. With just a few simple configuration steps, we can enhance our visibility into our Google Cloud VMware environment and make planning, forecasting, and troubleshooting via VMware Operations easy and clear. Let's take a minute to go through the configuration steps on how to configure ARIA Operations and ARIA Operations for Logs with GCVE so we can start pulling data in. At our VMware ARIA Operations home screen, we'll start by clicking on Data Sources, Go to Integrations, and here we have our Google Cloud VMware Engine and our GCVE vCenter. So if you click on our GCVE vCenter, you can see here it's a very simple configuration. All we have to do is give the project ID of our Google Cloud project and then set up the credentials. So you have to create a service account in Google Cloud that has access to read GCVE. And then you also have to generate a JSON. The JSON will have the configuration parameters for logging in with a private key and make everything very secure so no passwords are needed. Once our accounts are configured, we want to configure our private clouds. We click on private clouds, and here we can configure our vCenter, vSAN NSXT, and service discovery if we have that. The vCenter server should be automatically filled you just have to give your vCenter credentials in GCVE. Same with vSAN and NSXT. You have to give the admin account for NSXT Manager as well as the password. Once this is configured, we save our settings and then we can go to VMware ARIA Operations for Logs to configure the log ingestion. Under the Log Sources page, we give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to configure GCVE. First, you have to follow the prerequisites and deploy a cloud proxy in your GCV environment. We give you the full steps here, complete with deploying the OVA, and then connecting to VMware ARIA Operations for Logs. And once that's complete, we could use this Logs tab to test to make sure that you have logs incoming from GCVE. Configuration for GCVE consists of just deploying the cloud proxy and then doing the vSphere integration. So we have a new vSphere integration here. This is the IP address for my GCVE vCenter. You have to specify a solutions user account for the vCenter along with a password and the cloud proxy. And then here, I did a quick tag cloud equals GCVE, so it's easy to query these events that are coming from Google Cloud VMware Engine. And then once that's done, you'll start ingesting logs into ARIA operations for logs. Now that our integration is complete, we can go back to VMware ARIA operations and check out our new launch pad over here. At the launch pad, we can drill down into any of our private or public clouds and start to do capacity, troubleshooting, cost, anything you need to do for your environment. If we scroll down to Google Cloud VMware Engine and click on it, we can start by getting an operations overview, cost overview, compliance overview, or just see a summary of all of our different objects in our GCB environment, and we could manage it here as well. So if we click on our operations overview, it will send us to the multi-cloud overview tab we have our GCVE vCenter located in US East and a total count of all of our objects, including virtual machines, distributed switches, hosts, and more. And here we have the capacity remaining for our environment as well as the cost of ownership. So if we want to dig a little deeper, we'll click on our vCenter icon and click on our vCenter. And now we're browsing all of the objects in that GCVE vCenter, just like having a private cloud vCenter in your own data center. So if we click on the vCenter server, we have our GCVE demo. And then we have our familiar ARIA operations summary screens and alert screens, where we can get all kinds of information on the status of our environment, including alerts and metrics. And then this also integrates with our new logs tab in ARIA operations. It's no longer an iframe. It's actually part of the ARIA operations UI, and we can do some basic troubleshooting here. So you can already see that events coming in from GCVE. We have an error with one of our databases, and it looks like a table is full. So immediately you can start your troubleshooting. You can go and you can clear this table, give it more space or purge it if you need. And then if we want to do some more troubleshooting beyond this, we can always launch ARIA operations for logs. And once that's launched, we'll immediately be sent to the Log Explorer with our GCVE vCenter teed up for us, and we can go through the logs and 
understand what's going on via things like the types and the event trends. So it looks like here, my biggest offender in logs for the past five minutes is this table full error, which we probably want to fix and clean up because it might be taking our website down. Once we have these logs flowing into ARI operations for logs, we can also look at some dashboards in the product. I have a dashboard here that's called GCVE logs that I've created. If we click on it, there's a few widgets. We can see total logs that are coming in from GCVE. We can see some account logins to vCenter, which is important for your auditing and authentication needs. So you can see any admin accounts logging into vCenter and you can make sure that's for legitimate services. And then we have our GCV error logs. So we have this broken down by app name. Looks like we have a few VPXA errors, a few host D errors. And then if we want to drill down, we can. We can open this and view the log query. And then we can see our top errors. And then we can also break it down by type. And then of course, in ARIA operations, we can check out our metrics. And we can see how our CPU capacity is, how our demand is. Things like disk space used. And then of course, we can create dashboards, alerts, and any other objects to monitor our GCD environment and maximize the value you're getting out of the VMware ARIA operations SaaS suite. Hopefully this demo was helpful in showing the power of the integration between ARIA operations and ARIA operations for logs, as well as the power of the integration between ARIA operations and your public clouds, including your VMware-based public clouds. In conclusion, our integration between VMware ARIA operations and VMware-based public clouds is second to none. It's very easy to configure and also very simple to use. So please try it out for yourself and thanks for watching.